Oh my god, there's a bump! Woo, yeah! Well, good morning everyone, this is Jaffa Paul, and this morning I'm taking a little test ride on the new KTM 790 Duke. Whoa! Wow, so initially, very torgy, instant power. I think this is a 105 brake horsepower, I think. Can come with a A2 conversion for the A2 license holders. Very nice, short wheel base compared to my Sprint. Majorly, I was like, I'm so tucked in. I'm like, I'm like, where's the rest of the bike? Very short. Behind me is literally I can just reach the back of the bike with my hand without even stretching. Quick shift is already built in onto this. So that makes it very, very easy. And no clutch needed. Very, very torgy. I really, really like this. And it's really light as well, which I think makes it a bit more exhilarating compared to the Sprint. The Sprint is absolutely really, really quick. But this is just so there it's just uh, let's go because it's so light doesn't weigh absolutely nothing sounds absolutely beast with that stock exhaust on so imagine what it's like with an acropovic or something ktm have uh, pulled out the bag for this Instantly, instantly like this bike. Just so smooth, just sinks into those corners with ease. I wonder how it deals with off road. Wow. So, slightly less power than I'm used to but the torque is a lot more there and the bike's lighter so the power to weight ratio is more oomphy. They've got a range of um, modes on here, so ride modes. You can do it while you're riding. You've got sport mode there. Close throttle, sport mode. I don't really know the difference between sport mode. You've got, and then you've got street, you've got rain which restricts a bit of your power. And then you've got track. Ooh. But I'll stick with uh, street mode for the minute. Sounds awesome, and the grunt on it is impeccable. So uh, I pretty like it. I think it's pretty sweet. Mirrors are quite adjustable, but they're tucked in. Everything just seems tucked in. It's the total opposite of what I currently ride. Throttle response is amazing. And I think it's just due to the fact that it's not um, it's not a very heavy bike. Quite high up, as in when I'm st stood still, I can just stand on the floor nice and perfectly and don't have to worry about um, the bike being too heavy and tipping over like I do on a sprint. I can just thrash this around and it is very, very light and it just feels so nimble because everything's tucked in and compact just feels like I can, I can fly around. It's almost like the perfect bike for um, just cruising around the street, which is what it's for. And I'm in street mode as well, so just need to see how good it does off-road. But uh, I won't risk this on a test ride bike. So you've got the horn. The controls feel very, very new and stiff. And then to put your high beam on, you just pull it towards you like a normal bike but then to put high beam on constantly you push it away from you and it keeps the high beam on constantly indicators are right there wow wow 
because it does a uh, does shift a bit it just feels really quick i think it's because it's so light i wasn't actually going that fast there or as fast as i thought i was going it just felt really really quick i think ktm have done a good job here this is a definitely a big upgrade from the 690 especially with this added quick shifter electronically and it's uh, really really good just nimble around everywhere i feel a lot more confident on this flying through traffic at high speed than any other bike I've been on. Wow. I was not expecting it to be this good. I was uh, generally shocked. Beautiful bike. Little iPad there. iPad mini for the details. The revs are there. Top left your gear. Then you've got your speed. And then on the right it's smaller. You've got fuel and engine temperature. And then at the bottom you've got even a clock. The degrees, so the temperature you've got your trip and then at the bottom right your range for how much fuel you've got left very lazy bike I just don't feel like my left hand is needed anymore because I could literally just change around like that apart from moving off I don't really need that left hand apart from to indicate was not expecting it to be this good and it does sound beautiful actually for a stock exhaust It just pulls so so well on you. Now I have test rode the Duke 690 uh, and I can tell you now this is so much better. Uh, granted the 690 was like a 14, 15 plate one uh, but that benefit of that two cylinder in this 790 just feels great. And the driver aids. This has got a lot more power than that 690. The 690 lacked top end. Once you got to about 110, 150 miles an hour, it wouldn't go any further. This just seems to uh, be the finished article, so to speak. Wow, that little bump bump. So I can't believe that's a stock exhaust. The KTM 790 Duke. Such a little, little machine, but it just is so good. Now I'm not too fond of these lights at the front, but they look cool. I like the daytime running lights of that. I just don't like them. Um, covered in lots of bugs. They're very back as well. These pegs. When I first sat, I expected my feet to be about here. Uh, that's just from previous bikes I've ridden uh, and I, it was it was more back there like a like a sport bike and I was like oh it's nice but then where my knee position was it just felt so comfy I was like wow so let's have a look at these specs then right so now that's all done and dusted so let's go out for another little blast before taking it back to the gentleman saying thank you very much so starting it is uh, pretty similar to all new bikes now uh, so you've got the uh, kill switch there and then the center and then to start it you just need to hold down that bit there no clutch to start I don't know if it has to be in neutral but and it flashes orange when you go into the road range So let's see that high beam then. So you've got your daytime running lights and then your main lights there. You've got high beam there, which sort of dims your daytime running lights. You can see that. Indicators are nice and bright. Three LEDs. The only thing I would get if you are thinking about purchasing one of these is lever covers or something because that is just destroyed that is all destroyed as well just covered in covered in bugs but all in all a nice little tidy bike so you've got coolant there on the side on the right hand side so it's easy to get to rather than going through all this like you do on a normal bike you've got rear brake reservoir front brake reservoir exhaust sounds good i was expecting the disc to be a bit bigger but it's nice and strong there to adjust your chain 
I like a bit of under seed storage, so let's have a Ooh. So this is where your battery is and all you got extra stuff you can put connections on. To get extra power there. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Seat's nice and comfy. I was expecting it to be a bit not as uh not as comfy as it is, considering it's that flat sort of look to it. But it's quite spongy, so I don't know whether you, you can upgrade these on the accessories. We are. So this is about eight and a half thousand pounds on the market new. It only came out a few months ago. But I think they've got the price roughly about right. I'd have said about seven and a half for what it is. Um, very basic, but they've got the basics right, I think. KTM have got the basics spot on. Uh, the only extras that are a bit nicer are the electronic aids like the quick shifter and the, you know the clutches up shifting and stuff. That's probably the best um, the best thing about the bike. A very very smooth, very nimble bike. And I uh, I'm quite enjoying this. If I had eight and a half thousand pounds standing in my bank and I just needed one to just uh, excuse my language but fuck about on just cruise about like this uh, I would buy this there's no one behind me so I was expecting the brakes to be a bit sort of better don't get me wrong they are good I just expect them to be a, a bit better now if you had an acropoic on this this would sound absolutely spot on There'd be loads of backfire, maybe some flames. You can hear it a little bit. You can hear it a little bit. You can tell it wants to go. It's just... You can hear it a bit there then. I do like these mirrors, they're, they're quite cool. I don't know how it would work with bringing them in, but they are literally slightly just past my... Uh, my hand so if I wanted to it went through it and I could just tuck it in like that but this is uh, really nice in the corners uh, I don't know how well it would fare absolutely flying in the corners like a sports bike with your knee down but this does handle pretty well in the corners I feel confident getting it right over it doesn't uh, feel like it's going to come away from me at all it just glides around that corner and I can feel it gripping other than going around the corner. It just feels so nimble and smooth. It's so great. Let's see how well the torque does. So fifth gear, 30 miles an hour. Mm -hmm, that's pretty pretty decent. What sixth? Still pausing feel a bit of juddering, but sixth gear, 30 mile an hour. Pretty cool, how much did it pull away? Oh, it does struggle a bit. Yeah, it struggles a bit in sixth, pull away at 30, but... For a blast round with your mates, this is the bike for you. It does struggle a bit getting into gear sometimes. I think it might just be because I'm, I'm new on it. This is like the perfect, the perfect town bike. I shit you not. This is an absolute amazing machine. KTM have done really well on this bike, I believe. It is uh, very, very comfy though. Very comfy. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to be this comfy. How comfy it is on a long, long haul ride, I do not know. Now just sitting here, 50 miles an hour, top gear. I feel right as rain. I mean, the wind's blowing in, it's nice. I'm surrounded by trees and I'm on a KTM Duke. The only thing I'm missing is the orange frame. 
Wow. The KTM 790 Duke. So, if you are thinking about buying one of these, as always I say it in every review, make sure you uh, test ride it first before purchasing. Uh, but I really like this bike. Um, if I was moving up from a 125 onto my A2 license, this is probably the bike I would purchase. Primarily because it comes as an A2 restriction version. I can then do my A license two years later and then de-restrict this and then I've got all the fun. But overall, the build quality of the engine is, is fairly good. The nice electronic aids are nice and handy. However, for the bike of what it is, it just seems a little bit unnecessarily. You, you could have dropped the, the bike's price by about 1,000 and 1,500 uh, and took those electronic aids away. They're not really needed. We don't, I don't need a sport mode or a street mode. Maybe just a little a button to have like a traction assist, maybe. But I didn't need the. Uh, I don't need all this sort of fanning around electronic stuff. Uh, that's just me personal, personally. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The KTM Duke 790. So, if you enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and ride safe.